inequalities. Graphing inequalities on a number line. What are they? Inequalities compare two expressions or values using x less than or equal to, x greater than or equal to, or x not equal to. Why? Speed limits use them. Interesting fact, geckos have unique toes which allow them to be good climbers. Now, let's take a look at the examples we're going to discuss in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example one. Let's read the steps. Step one, check the sign. Step two, x less than or equal to, draw left. Step three, x greater than or equal to, draw right. Now, let's read the question. Graph the inequality x less than 17 on a number line. Before we get started, let's take a look at the top right. We have filled in circle, or you might hear closed circle, which means the numbers included in the answer. That is for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. And we have empty circle, or you might hear open circle, which means the number is not included in the answer. That is for less than or greater than. Let's get started. We already have our number line. Let's add some numbers. Just make sure 17 is on there somewhere. Now we need to circle 17. Are we going to have a filled in circle or an empty circle? That's right, an empty circle, because we only have less than. Since x is on the left side and we have less than, we draw our arrow to the left. Now let's check. Let's write down x less than 17. We need to pick a number to the left of 17 and a number to the right of 17. First, let's use the number 16. Is 16 less than 17? That is true. Next, let's use the number 18. Is 18 less than 17? That is not true. That is example one. Let's move on to example two. Now, let's read the question. Graph the inequality x greater than or equal to four on a number line. We already have our number line. Let's add some numbers. Just make sure four is on there somewhere. Now we need a circle four. Are we going to have a filled in circle or an empty circle? That's right, a filled in circle because we have greater than or equal to, or specifically, or equal to. Since x is on the left side and we have greater than or equal to, we draw our arrow to the right. Now let's check. Let's write down x greater than or equal to four. We need to pick a number to the left of four and a number to the right of four. First, let's use the number three. Is three greater than or equal to four? That is not true. Next, let's use five. Is five greater than or equal to four? That is true. So the arrow is pointed in the correct direction. That is example two. Let's move on to example three. Now, let's read the question. Graph the inequality x less than or equal to 28 on a number line. We already have our number line. Let's add some numbers. Just make sure 28 is on there somewhere. Now we need to circle 28. Are we going to have a filled in circle or an empty circle? That's right, a filled in circle, because we have less than or equal to, or specifically, or equal to. Since x is on the left side, and we have less than or equal to, we draw our arrow to the right. Now, let's check. Let's write down x less than or equal to 28. We need to pick a number to the left of 28, and a number to the right of 28. First, let's use the number 24. Is 24 less than or equal to 28? That is true. Next, let's use the number 32. Is 32 less than or equal to 28? That is not true. So the arrow is pointed in the correct direction. That is example three. And let's move on to example four. Now, let's read the question. Graph the inequality x greater than negative three on a number line. We already have our number line. Let's add some numbers. Just make sure negative three is on there somewhere. Now we need to circle negative three. Are we going to have a filled in circle or an empty circle? That's right, an empty circle, 
because we only have greater than. Since x is on the left side and we have greater than, we draw our arrow to the right. Now let's check. Let's write down x greater than negative 3. We need to pick a number to the left of negative 3 and a number to the right of negative 3. First, let's use negative 5. Is negative 5 greater than negative 3? That is not true. Next, let's use the number 0. Is 0 greater than negative 3? That is true. So the arrow is pointed in the correct direction. That is example 4. Now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time to answer this question and I'll show you the result in 3, 2, and 1. Did you get it correct? Superb. If not, there's always tomorrow.